Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Why did you try to pull a bus? Folks, please remove your backpacks, move it as far as you can. Unbelievable images and videos from this morning's commute. Complete TTC chaos as thousands were forced offline too after a train derailed. The mess comes on the same day news emerged that a popular discount program will soon be ending. Like, what is this? What is this? And then they want Frustration and commotion as huge crowds spill onto the sidewalk after being forced out of the tunnels pushing, shoving and forcing their way onto shuttle buses. Extremely frustrating. I was trying to go to work this morning and this mess happened. I'm at least two hour, or an hour and a half late for work now. At six this morning, a TTC train about to go into service got caught on a flip switch and partially derailed, enough to suspend service. The, the problem was, of course, that it, it happened at the worst time of day for us, which is the morning rush hour. Um, so it created, it created real chaos this morning out in the West End. Even with 100 shuttle buses deployed and police on site redirecting traffic, still a disorderly scene. 2008 was the last time there was a mainline derailment. They are not common, thankfully. We absolutely understand the frustration. Um, it, it, you know, we never want to see that. We never want to see our, our customers have to experience that. Um, but, you know, the, these things happen from time to time. The TTC now analyzing how or why this happened today, the same day it was announced that a popular discount program is coming to an end. This is a fare hike, pure and simple. The Ford government is cancelling a $1.50 fare discount for riders transferring between GO and the TTC. The program was introduced by the Wynn government in 2018 and critics say removing it will disincentivize people from taking transit. A Doug Ford's move to cancel this program will mean commuters will be paying more and that's not right. Not only that, it is a step back for a region working towards fare integration, so riders can get from one system to another without paying two full fares. Colors on the buses and the vehicles and who operates it, it to, the, to the user is not relevant. The, the user wants to be able to travel easily across this region and at a time when we're uh, trying to get people out of cars and give them other alternatives, uh, both for congestion reasons and to address issues of climate change, we really need the fare structure really uh, is, is, a, is, a, is a key piece of, of the puzzle. In a statement, Metrolink says while the province covered the cost of the discount by up to $18.4 million annually, the program exceeded the budget every year. And Metrolink has covered the $9.3 million shortfall since its launch. They say they'll be bringing forward solutions in the near future. The Ministry of Transportation did not comment by deadline. The discounted double fare program will officially be ending on March 31st. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdanian.